hello guys what a week in ai we are watching the releases of models almost every day and every model is competing with other models in one way or another just yesterday google released code gemma or should i say today because i am in australia and it was just released overnight few hours ago and this code gemma is yet another great model by google if you have been going through my channel for some time you might have noticed that i have been covering these gemma models for some time from different angles and they are performing well so in this video i am going to show you what exactly this code gemma model is and then how you can get it installed of course on your windows system locally and then we will play around with it on some of the prompt tests and see how it performs code gemma is a collection of lightweight open code models built on top of Gemma. Code Gemma models are text to text and text to code decoder only models and are available as a 7 billion pre trained variants that specialize in code completion and code generation tasks. A 7 billion parameter instruction tuned variant for code chat and instruction following, and a 2 billion parameter pre trained variant for fast code completion. This model is intended to answer questions about code fragments, to generate code from natural language or to engage in a conversation with user about programming or technical problem. If you need to use code completion, then Google recommends that you use one of the pre-trained model instead uh, like um, code gemma 7 billion or code gemma 2 billion. In this paper, Google has really gone through in detail as what exactly this Gemma model is and I would highly encourage you to read through it even if you don't understand. It's quite a good read and I'm more than sure you are going to learn so many things. For example, for their data pre-processing techniques, uh, they have applied FIM pre-trained code Gemma uh, modeling which focuses on fill in the middle task or which is FIM, fill in the middle. The models are trained to work with both PSM and SPM modes and their uh, fill in the middle settings are like 80% fill in the middle rate with 50 50 PSM and SPM. Also, another technique which they have used is dependency graph based packing and unit test based lexical packing technique. So, to improve model alignment with the real world applications, they have structured training examples at the project repo level to co locate the most relevant source file within the repo. They also employed two heuristic techniques dependency graph based packing and unit test based lexical packing. They also developed a new technique for splitting the document into prefix, middle and suffix to make the suffix start in a more syntactically natural point rather than purely random distribution. As usual, the safety of this model is amazing. Similar to JAMA, Google has deployed rigorous safety filtering including filtering personal data, ESAM filtering and other filtering based on content quality and safety in line with the Google's policies and they have a very good documentation around it on Google's website. Code Gemma was trained using the latest generation of TPUs or tensor processing unit hardware and they for the software they use JAX and ML pathways and I have a few other videos on JAX and ML pathways so just please search the channel. They also have uh, check this code jam on various benchmarks including human eval, single line and multiple line infilling and especially on the code generation benchmark like human eval, Babel code and Babel code cover C++, C, Java, JavaScript, Kotlin, Python, Rust. Also they have done it on question answer benchmarks like bool Q, trivia, trivia Q because it also supports natural language so they have also tested it on Arc challenge, Elaswag, for the common sense and massively multi modal language, Vinogrande, math reasoning, which is a great level maths and also simple math. A lot of good stuff is happening. As you can see, that code Gemma is performed really good on this one compared to the other models in single and multi one. And then, like it has beaten its own previous code Gemma and sorry, Star Coder and Deep Seek, uh, Deep Seek Coder and you can read through this on their um, model page or this PDF report, which I'll drop the link in video's description. Now, enough theory. Let me take you to 
my LM Studio. That is the tool which I'm not sorry. This one LM Studio. This is the tool which I'm going to use in order to get this thing installed, like Code Gemma. If you don't know what LM Studio is, please check my website uh, or channel, and I have gone into way more detail as how to get it installed and different configuration. To launch LM Studio, go to its home page, just type Code Gemma, press enter, and you will see that there are a lot of quantized versions there. For some weird reason, uh, Google's own uh, quantized versions are no more visible. So what I did, I just went into this instruction tune from LM Studio community itself. And then I have downloaded this Q5KM level of quantized version. If I click on this folder icon, you can see that it is already there. Let's click on three dots and let me load this model. And you can keep, a, keep an eye on the resource usage on the top left. So let's wait for it to load and then we are going to check it out on different prompts. Also, I would need to transfer it to my GPU, so just make it bigger. On the right hand side, let me try to GPU offload max. And then I just need to reload the model a bit. It don't take too long. Let's wait for model to load. Okay, so model is loaded. Now let's test it out on our first prompt. Now, if you look at it in this one, what I was, what I'm asking is it is a natural language to code conversion test. So I'm asking it given a list of strings representing numbers in words, one, two, three in array, write a function to convert these strings into their corresponding numeric values, like handle cases like 22 and 105. Let's see how this model tackles it. Okay, so model is doing proper indentation there. How good is that? Okay, so comments are there. So sorry, let me go up and we'll just scroll through. Hoping it will put it in a more there are a lot of live breaks, but that is fine. So you can see the program stat starts. It is in Python, so by default it seems it takes Python. And then this is the same thing which I asked. Fabulous. It is looping through it and checking the length. Yep. And then trying it out. And then, yep, that is right. Gear, all the exception handling is there. And then breaking away. Massive. Awesome. Perfectly fine. Okay. Let me now try to do some algorithm design and optimization. So here I'm asking it implement a function to find the longest increasing subsequence in an array of integer. Optimize your solution to have a complexity better than this. If possible, I'll say write it in go there you go so this is a go language let's wait for it to finish i'll then i'll we review the code there you go i'm not a go developer but what i have checked so far looks good to me so you, there you go it has defined a function the function name is quite big but that is fine and then it is one thing i really love about it that it is giving a lot of long long comments i think it is just overdoing it in some cases you can see that there are conditions where it is going with that but just repeating the stuff too okay i think when that happens in lm studio in quantized version what you need to do you need to just simply reload the model i'm just going to reload it and then we are going to ask it another question let me test another one and i'm not going to edit this because i really want to show you show you the true picture here so implement a function in java to serialize a binary tree into a string representation and then deserialize it back into original structure let's see let's wait for it to print and then we will review the code so it has generated this java function which looks okay to me so it is just serializing the binary tree into uh, string representation okay now let's try out a Kotlin function. So I'm asking it write a Kotlin program that uses core, uh, that uses coroutines to perform parallel computation of large prime numbers. Maybe I'll just stick to here in the interest of. Oh wow! So you can see it is saying it can't do that. Wow! Amazing. Instead of that, I have asked it a simpler Kotlin prompt that implement a Kotlin program using coroutines to fetch data from multiple APIs concurrently 
and aggregate the result and this looks really good there you go you see that how good the uh, code is really well done and finally let's ask it a rust question so i'm asking it create a rust application that reads a csv file processes the data and writes the results to another file implement robust error handling let's see if it can do it nope i don't think so it's it is or maybe it is where is the error handling okay this is the error handling okay looks good to me i think it's good very compact code but anyway that's it guys uh play around with it let me know what do you think because this is just a test of code cannot represent the whole thing and plus it's a quantized version but i believe in a 2 billion 7 billion size for um simple coding stuff it performs really well but as you already saw that for the complex task it struggles but then for that we have bigger models i will drop the link to it in video's description let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching